so i've had a nintendo dsi since i was 6 and i just recently installed twilight menu on it and that made me want to learn how code runs on the dsi and i just really wanted to have my own game on it and so i basically scarred everywhere to find a tutorial and given that it's very old um development for it there's not much um documentation or tutorials out there and that's why um i've been reading for the past few days and i'm making this tutorial for anyone who wants to get started with nintendo ds uh development Now this tutorial is specifically for the Mac OS because I could not find a single tutorial for the Mac. Um I followed game creation organization GCO's tutorial on YouTube but it's like 10 years old. Um so the first thing that you want to do to begin is um install DevKit Pro. so um devkit pro is basically what compiles the game uh sorry it compiles the code and uh gives us the nds game now for mac os um we don't have an exe file we there's a package installer that you download um right here so you'll want to install this and then run through the installation process okay so it your mac os might not allow you to open it what you then want to do is go to settings um go to privacy and security and open anyway and enter your password now go through the guide since i have already installed this um so when it asks for the destination do not change the destination i'll tell you why um ahead in the video but for now just go through and continue and install as it says i will not do that since i already have it installed so let me just delete this once you have it installed you might be unable to find the folder that is because mac os um uh, where it is stored it's stored here in the uh macintosh hard drive but that folder is not visible what you want to do to unhide those folders is um go to the terminal and type in this command um and then uh to type in this command which will restart finder and apply all the changes and then you will be able to see all the hidden folders then you can go to macintosh hd and there you will find this folder opt and there there's your devkit pro folder what you also want to do is um so this is what it should look like now for nds development um there is a very easy to use library well not exactly easy to use but it makes life way more easier using this library and it's called nightfox lib uh, by um sorry it's called lib nds by uh, sorry sorry it's nightfox is library for Uh, lib nds lib nds is already part of devkit pro um so you will want to read through the documentation for lib nds which you can just find by googling it yeah lib lib nds not devkit pro dot org but what night fox's library does is it's sort of a wrapper for the lib nds library and it makes it easier to use it um and Nightfox also provides um examples and templates which 
can be directly used so what we will be doing is basically taking out files from this library and copying and pasting them and using them so you'll want to download the latest um, version which is 11 years old now <laughs> uh, in download that folder uh, that zip file extract it and then you want you will want to paste that um, copy uh, you will want to uh, move that folder to this dev kit pro folder which we opened in the opt folder yeah directory so within dev kit pro uh, add it here so it'll be it'll, uh, it'll it'll show as nf lib and here is where you want to save it um okay and then so just for an example uh what we can do is okay there's a template file so this is not what it would look like this is it looks like this because i already um i've already run i've already made the project file once that's why these these extra files uh, they were written uh, what you will only see is source and a make file so what you want to do is open um, open this full directory in the terminal and type in make this will build the project but you will get an error which says your dev kit arm environment uh, sorry dev kit arm is not set in the environment um, so we, what we need is is the path for dev kit arm which is so we'll go to opt um, actually I have um, I have written a file for reference which I will share in the description Okay, but now we'll just go here, lib, template, is it here? Okay, it's on, uh... yeah, so you are going to want to paste, okay, so you will want to export these um, variables to the environment and then uh, okay so let's do that Okay, and let's try again. And it is completed. It made the file. However, sometimes what happened to me the first time was I got a permission denied error. Um, and if you do get that, then all you have to do is type in cd dot dot, which will take you to the pre previous directory. Then uh, this, I will I will paste all of this in the description. Um, yeah, so, okay, let's revisit the terminal. Okay, so here you can say, see built template dot NDS. Um, so that basically built this file. And this is the NDS uh, a file that will run in the DS. Now, I'm not, um, I installed the DES Mume, uh, emulator for NDS however that doesn't seem to be working what I do is I test it directly on my Nintendo DS which um, let me show to you how it runs okay 
so this is the ds i i transfer it using the sd card and uh, i can run it here because i use twilight menu so this is just a basic um keyboard key, key input um code that is running so when i press b it says button b was pressed and when i press button a is pressed okay so that is how you set up and basically get your project running on <clears throat> um on your mac using devkit pro for the nds um i made this tutorial because i really couldn't find any tutorial for the mac and most of the tutorials were very old and i think i just basically wanted a way for myself to remember how to do all of this um all over again if i needed to um thank you and if you have any questions with any of the steps you could leave them in the comment and i will try to answer them thank you have a great day okay